assalamu alaikum welcome to best solution line in this tutorial you will learn about uh, interpolation in gis okay so you will uh, learn about it what is interpolation and how to interpolate data in gis uh, by different methods like inverse distance uh, weighting methods and other techniques we will learn uh, in the this tutorial okay so there are different techniques these are the arc toolbox and this is a special NLS tool and in here is a interpolation so interpolation and uh, yeah, here are different methods IDW involves distance sweating method cringing method and uh, other methods okay so how this uh, uh, will be so go to add data and uh, take uh, this uh, as a data okay now export this data and uh, export this data to and this is okay so export it in this file or file and uh, now add uh, some other uh, the shape file of this district where this data is available and it is a uh, <coughs> shape file of Pishaur and it is a this is Pishaur district yeah, okay so add here and these are the data and uh, go to display xy data and uh, this x field x and y field y the longitude and latitude and uh, here this is a water table okay so the geographic coordinate system okay now you can see this these are the point data and uh, which is the water table at different location so how you interpolate the other area which is not available in this data this area this area and other area which is a nearby these points data so how you can interpolate so this is very easy method go to our toolbox and then special analysis tool and uh, in special analysis tool click uh, interpolation okay and interpolation you go to the inverse distance weighting method okay so double click here now you can see this window click here the export output data and uh, okay so now this is the far water table so we interpolate the data for water tables okay so this is water table and uh, this is the output raster so let me go to um, <coughs> I'll click any um, so if you change change this name okay tw water table water table creature okay creature one okay so and change the environment okay process extent mm, here the extent is the interpolation extent okay so we interpolate up to is the shower layer which is a district boundary okay so now go to mm, here the raster analysis and click the uh, mask and select as shower is the mask and this is the boundary okay for interpolation so click here and now click here 
you will see that IDW inverse distance weighting method is possible and hope this uh, okay so now you can uh, have this layer okay now you can see here that this is the interpolated uh, region okay so this is the one region and this is the next region okay so you can see here if you increase this window now you can see and you can also change the color for this uh, uh, interpolation so change it from here to this color okay so now you can see that the the blue region is a uh, have less water table up to 30 feet okay and uh, after that is the uh, from 30 to 60 and then 60 to 90 and then 90 to 120 and then yellow region you can see here yellow region that is uh, uh, from 120 to 150 and here is the green color and this which is a uh, uh, most uh, uh, deep water table which is uh, from 241 to 271 okay so this is the blue area here is a uh, um, river cable so uh, by this reason here is what table which is a uh, very low up to 30 feet okay so and uh, here at this side uh, the water table is deep and uh, because this is south sides of the district so here is a uh, uh, the water type is uh, uh, very uh, deep okay so this is the easy method for uh, interpolation and this method is called uh, uh, inverse uh, inverse distance uh, weighting method hope uh, you will learn this uh, and uh, you will understand it uh, for uh, more tutorial and for best tutorial you must uh, subscribe my channel which is uh, best solution and Okay, thank you.